Hey guys, this is the DMX App Show, and I'm your host Shane. Today I wanted to show you my new favorite application, which is N64 OID. Uh, it works on any Android device. Today I'm going to just kind of give you an overview of how it works on the Droid X. Um, in the description you'll see a link to download a trial version of N64 OID, and also a link to, down to download the ROM Gripper application, which is going to allow you to download all the games for the emulator. Uh, guys, you can have a lot of fun with this. And once you download those two things, go to your app drawer, go over to ROM Gripper, and open that up. Um, let's see, here I'm at a game that I've already downloaded. But if you go back, you can see there's just a huge list of games. I'm going to go to Mario Kart and show you how that plays. Everything in here actually plays really awesome. But you're going to have a few hiccups. This is the first release of N64 OID. So, of course, they're going to have some updates and they're going to make it a lot better in the future. And it really doesn't take a long time to update. I mean, it doesn't take a long time to load. See, there it is. It's already loading. And it shows up just like it would if you were playing N64. And there it is. You push start. See how it kind of has a little hiccup? Um, they've already said that they're working on updates for that. So it's going to be a lot better in the near future. But for the first release, this is really awesome. And it's released with a ton of games. I mean, there's literally hundreds of games that you can download. This just happens to be one of my favorite here. You kind of hear the glitchiness in the sound files, but it will get better. And some of the ROMs actually don't glitch at all. Um, one thing that I would suggest, if you have the Droid X Overclocker app, overclock your Droid X to 1.3 gigahertz or whatever device you're on. If you can overclock it at all, that really does help out with the glitchiness and it makes it a whole lot smoother. Um, so that would be my suggestion if you're having difficulties with the glitchiness. But you can see I'm getting around the track fine and it looks just exactly like it did when I played it on the N64. So guys, that's everything that I wanted to show you. Um, go to my website, droidmoderx.wordpress.com for more and I appreciate it. Thanks guys. Toxicated world